Leaving your hometown is hard, especially if you've never lived anywhere else before. You're leaving behind your friends, your siblings, your parents, your family. My friend Nance and I hit the road bright and early from Raleigh, North Carolina and headed all the way through Tennessee to Nashville. Do I have earbuds in? Damn it. That's so annoying. Why were they in? Now, this is when the photos started getting shot. It's already, oh, it's recording, cool. Yeah, it's recording. I'm not doing any fancy audio because who knows if I'll even use this. But right now I'm just using a point and shoot out here on Nance Road, funny enough. My best friend here, Nance is with me. It's so weird, we just drove by. Bro, what are the chances though? Nothing insanely cool here, but it's a road trip. These are these are the warm-ups. These are these are memories. They're not bangers. This is my first real road trip straight away across the country and I am learning very quickly that a lot of the country looks like this. And uh, it's just hundreds of miles of this. And um, occasionally though, we'd stop to get some gas and uh, a drink and we'd find a cool place for me to pop off a couple shots. Disgusting, dude. It's so gross. Look at this thing though. Dude, it's so pretty. We stayed in Wichita, Kansas overnight one night, and when we woke up, it was gorgeous, but I had not had an energy drink. I was exhausted, so I didn't take a single photo, but I did pop off a couple quick little video clips, which I think are quite pretty. It's locked, it's, it's locked, kid. We're at the Great Sand Dunes. Holy. We on Colorado right now. Came a long way just to this freestyle. Okay, check, hey. Yeah, it's been a minute since I blessed the TL. Working on me through the lows, I prevail. Big heart, pure soul, and I mean well. And I got a lot in store like retail. Never selling my soul, there's no resale. Value to God's gifts, check the details. He took his time on the kid. I be making moves off the signs that he sends. Only doing me, this is the life that I live. A lot of rappers wanna do it for the highs and the trends. 15 minutes is the time that they spend in front of our eyes till they fall off, the demise is a bitch, huh? Don't be surprised by the drift. Made a big splash, big step is my slip. Trying to step to the kid, every verse that I spit. 10 out of 10, man, you could do it like, but you can't do it like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're vastly underprepared for this. We're both out of shape, but I'm about to take my first shot here. Oh man. That felt good. Let me get one of you, man. Uh, I don't I don't think this photo deserves any praise, but it's a photo of a friend. And Nance looks like a Nathan Drake cosplayer, so let's rewind a bit. We're vastly underprepared for this. <laughs> and this was at the base of the dunes, so this was way before we actually attempted to climb them. We were both wearing air forces that filled with sand immediately. And also, we didn't bring any water with us from the U-Haul, which was incredibly dumb. I know. Seriously, when you get up on these dunes, it's like your depth perception almost goes out. You cannot tell how big they are until you start climbing up them. Your legs immediately almost seize up from how steep they are after, I don't know, a couple minutes of trying to climb them. Maybe we're just very weak, but 
It seemed like the case for everyone. At one point I remember telling Nance I thought my heart was going to beat out of my neck. I don't think I've physically struggled like that in years. Bro, I could cry right now. The light was really starting to disappear, but we made it to the top and I got to fire off a couple shots, which ended up being some of my favorites from the trip. Man, it really was worth it. Jack, you gone? Lonnie's gonna pass away. Bro. Fuck. This shot right here is probably my favorite. There's a person on each dune, which I think is just so cool. Moments like this when we're running out of light and I don't have my camera loaded really make me thankful for point and shoots where you just get to point and shoot and worry about composition and not the settings of your camera. All right, he's taking his shoes off. Oh my God. Insane. made it to the arches. No, we didn't. This is called the Wilson Arch. It's way before the Arches National Park, but I actually really love the photos I shot here, so roll the tape. In Utah, today I've got Ektar 100 in my camera, which is not a very me thing to do. I think I've shot maybe two rolls of Ektar in my life, but I feel like this is the, an appropriate place to shoot it, so let's see if I'm right. Gas. <laughs> Let's get it. Three, two, one. Oh, that's sick too. Three, two. Bro, this is the shot right here with the little flowers in the foreground. Bro, it's so hot out here that I can't put my face to my eyepiece because it's like heated up so much. Cool, man. Dude, this is beautiful. Oh, dude, that is it right there. I love this little parking lot sign right here and the way that the light's kind of shining through it. And then all of these arches and the hills and stuff. Thank you.
you got him. After the arches, I was pretty eager to get to Los Angeles to my new apartment. Um, I was getting pretty anxious with my entire uh, life of belongings in this U-Haul. So from there, we booked it to the Grand Canyon and only spent about 20, 30 minutes there. We'd both been there before, so we were okay just kind of taking it in for half an hour and hitting the road again. And that night, we drove all the way to Los Angeles. This road trip might not have been the most successful photographically for me. Uh, I did not take my best photos, but what a banger trip to have with a friend. If you don't know already, I moved out to Los Angeles, California to work with Cinestill Film. I am so honored to host their YouTube channel. We're like 13 or 14 weeks deep of posting. I've been crushing out videos with them since April, getting the channel ready for launch. And now that we've been posting for a while, I can safely say I'm having a amazing time. It feels so good to be part of something bigger and make videos for a film company, a company that not only makes really amazing film, but also makes processing chemistry and stuff like that. Stuff that I've been using uh, for years and stuff that I used before Cinestill even knew my name and swore by and recommended. So to, to be able to <laughs> work and represent a film company, I guess with my face and voice uh, that I stand by with all my heart and have, again, before they knew who I was, feels really good. So what does that mean for this channel? Well, new videos every week. Yeah, that's right, you might end up getting quite a few videos of me every month via this page and Cinestills. Yeah, I, I, I'm just, I'm hungry to make videos and shoot a bunch of film and yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have a blast out here. So if you're wondering what's directly next for this channel, like next week, um, this isn't just a, a blank set. This is my new apartment. So next week, apartment tour. I'll see y'all there.